Hi friends, welcome to Neat PG Doctor. In this video, we will discuss about All India Quota and the counseling process and the steps involved in it. Okay, let's get started. If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe the channel and watch other videos also, which also might be helpful to you. Neat PG 2024 is conducted on August 11, 2024, and the result has been declared on 23rd. And the scorecard with All India Quota and the rankings of category is released on August 30th. This single NEET PG entrance enables you to join multiple postgraduate medical courses such as MD, MS, DNB and Diploma courses. And here the DNB is also a post-graduation course which is introduced by the NBE and it is not less than the MD. Here you should keep in mind that some people are uh, still in the stigma that DNB is slightly lower than MD and presently from the new NMC curriculum also it is noted that MD is equivalent to DNB. DNB is no, no longer less than the MD courses. It is same duration of three years that the, uh, that the students are being trained in the particular department. If you are interested to take DNB course, then keep in mind if you join in hospital more than 500 beds because if you pursue in uh, the hospital which has less than 500 beds, you need to do a one year additional SRship to get equivalent to MD. We will discuss this in another video separately. Now we will see how the All India Quota Counseling process takes place. Basically, the filling up of the seats occurs via All India Quota and State Quota. I mean, the counseling process takes place in particular state of the candidate. All India Quota includes 50% of the government college seats from entire country, along with 100% DNB, Diploma and deemed university seats. These are filled up by All India Quota counseling. State Quota counseling includes 50% of government college seats and 100% of their private college seats. Here the basic steps are, you have to register first at MCC website and next after registering, you have to fill the choices, next seat, seats will be allotted and it, it will be, it will be in your hands to, to accept the, the seat, uh, reject the seat and participate in and the additional round of counselling. Here registration fees is non-refundable. It is 1000 rupees for general candidate and 500 for SCS to OBC and for DNB and diploma courses and 5000 rupees for deemed colleges and the security deposit is 25000 rupees for general candidate and 10000 rupees for SCST and OBC candidates and 2 lakhs rupees for deemed candidates this security deposit is refundable and some universities take time and some states may give in early amount of time after registration you have to you, you have to fill the choices and the counseling process takes place in the first round if you are allotted a seat and you are satisfied with the seat you can join the college and report there and here the counseling process ends and if you are allotted and you want to upgrade your seat you can opt for round two counseling and you may report it to the college that i want to upgrade it if you are not allotted a seat, then you are directly eligible for round 2 counselling. In round 2 counselling, the same goes here as well. If you are allotted a seat and satisfied with it, you may directly join it. If you are not satisfied with it and you wish to try for Mapa Brown, then you have to pay the deposit money once again to go through the Mapa Brown. Mapa Brown is nothing but round 3. If you are not allotted a seat, you are eligible for round 3 that is mop up and you don't have to pay the deposit money again here. The candidates who upgraded from round 1 counselling they can join the seat which is obtained through round 2 or if they have the better choice in round 1 itself then they can retain that seat or they can try the mop up again. In mop up seats will be limited and it's a risk. In mop up if the seat is allotted to the candidate and they are satisfied with the seat then they can join and the report to the college and if they are not satisfied then these candidates who have 
got the seat through the mop up counseling are not eligible for stray round and their deposit money is also lost there is no chance for them in this year's counseling to get into another round and allotted a seat and for the students who have not allotted any seat in mop up round also they are eligible for stray vacancy keep in mind that there is no fresh filling of choices here so keep the choices wisely so that's it guys this is the process how counseling takes place and if you have any doubts mention in the comments and comment the branch which you are waiting for and wishing for hope you get your dream branch and wish you good luck and all the best and please subscribe to the channel bye